Today I'd like to talk about info manuals in Emacs. And my target audience is anyone that's using Emacs but not sure how to use the info manuals. Uh, there's an awful lot of good information in the info manuals if you can access it and can navigate. Uh, but it's not super intuitive on how to do that, how to access it, navigate, and search the manuals. So I've used Emacs for a long time and only recently have used the manuals. So maybe this helps somebody else figure out how to, how to actually make good use of what's in the manuals. Um, if you know of a better way than what I have here, feel free to share it in the comments. I am using KeyCast, so you notice in my mode line down here, you'll see the uh, key presses and the, the command that those key presses call. So you can follow along on what I'm doing. I'll also try to call out what I'm typing so that you can, so you, so it's not a mystery where I'm going. These notes that we're looking at, this is org, which is a very nice facility in Emacs for uh, taking notes and all sorts of other things. What I have here are some shortcuts to the manuals and sections within the manuals, which are called nodes. Um, so this first one, for example, is uh, a manual about the manuals themselves. So this is how to, this is info on how to use info. And what I'm going to talk about is in that manual. And so you could look at that um, instead of, you know, there's things that I'm going to talk about. Anyway, the point here is that you can create shortcuts to sections of the manuals or the manuals. This next one is a section on mini buffers in the ELISP manual. And so if there's these kinds of things that you're going to want to access or you don't want to go f figure out where they are, you can create a shortcut to them. All right. And how do you do that? There are two, two commands in org. One is org store link and the other one is org insert link. And you can look at the help for those. But uh, those two can be used to create these links, which can be quite helpful. All right, the main stuff that I want to talk about is uh, these key bindings, which is basically how you would get into and navigate the info manuals. All right, so how do you access them? The first one is Control H I. Let's just do that. Control H I. That takes, we were in this section before, so we are back to that. Um, I just hit a D to go to the top level. But the point is that uh, quit this. If I do Control H I, that takes me to the info package. So we are in info. And you can see down there in the mode line, uh, we're at the directory part of the info system and at the top of that thing. So if you aren't at the top, Let's do Control H I, and let's say that we are in this company manual, and we want to get back to that top level directory. You just hit a D here, and that takes you to this top level, which lists all of the manuals. This is the directory of all of the manuals in the info system. Q here to quit, uh, and the next one is M. Uh, if there are menu items on the page, you can pick one of those menu items by typing M. So again, if you go Control H I D to be on this directory page, and then all of these are menu items down here. So if you hit M, then you can pick, you know, let's say you pick orderless, that takes you to the orderless manual. And orderless has its own menu. And so if you wanted to know about the related packages, you could type that, and it takes you to that section in the orderless manual. So these are, again, a menu here, and you could hit M and follow that menu. So I'm going to type a U to go back up to orderless, U again to go back to the directory level, Q to quit. All right, so those are the first three there, how to get in there, how to get to the top level directory, how to pick an, a menu item. And another way to get in there, rather than doing the Control H I, is you can do Control H capital R, and here you can enter any manual name that you want, Emacs, let's do that again, Control H, capital R, if you want to go to, I use, uh, this is vertical completion here, Vertico, and then you can get to the manual page for vertical completion, and this is very nice documentation. All right, so that's Control H, capital R, 
to and then enter a manual name. And you can use your completion to see what all the manual name choices are. Okay, so that's how to access the info system. All right, the next section is on navigation. Uh, maybe the first thing to talk about is that when you're in the info system, if you hit a question mark, type question mark, it will give you all of these navigation key bindings. So let's do that. Control H I, you hit question mark and you get all of these key bindings. Um, we've already talked about some of this. If you're in help, if you're in the info system, you type H, you'll get the tutorial. Q to quit. Uh, down here is D for that top level directory. Here's M for menu. So some of those we've already talked about. You can do, if you see down at the bottom there, it says type space to see more. So if we space, it will page down. I don't know of a way to, to page up, but there's three pages here. So you space a couple of times and then you space again and it quits that. But anywhere in info, question mark, you get these key bindings about how to navigate and other commands and uh, space to go through it and question mark will get you back to the top. Okay, so that's the question mark to get the to see what the key bindings are. And then in terms of navigating, you can navigate forward and backward by a node and a node is basically a section. So if the manual has section 11, 1213, 13.1, it will navigate forward uh, by those sections. And likewise, you can navigate backwards. So it's the square bracket. Let's do this. Let's go to orderless. Um, let's do, yeah, so there's the first section and then customization. So these are the sections. There's 2.1, 2.11. So you see that it's going by section here and it's I'm going forward and backwards. I'm hitting right square bracket, left square bracket to go backwards, and it's staying at the top level of these sections. It's not paging down. So that's the right and square bracket to go section by section through a manual. Q to quit. If you want to page through it uh, like you're reading it, that would be space and backspace. So let's do that again. We're in orderless. If I hit space here, it's going to page down, backspace, page up. All right. If I do M for, and I hit overview, okay, so I'm reading the overview and I space, I'm paging down, reading, reading. I get to the bottom. If I hit space again, it takes me to the next section. If I hit space here, it's going to take me to component matching styles, which is that first page. Backspace, back to that page back to the bottom of the previous section, the overview, and back to the top. So that's space to go forward, backspace to go backwards, Q to quit. Uh, when you visit a node or a page, you have a history of, of having where you've been, and you can use R and L to navigate that history. R to go forward, L to go backwards, and capital L to see your whole history. Let's try that. Control H I. Um, so let's just do L here to see where we've been. Yes, we were paging through this. If I do R, it's going forward in my history. Let's just make that a little clearer. Let's, we're going to go to overview and then customization. So if I go L, I should go back to overview and L once more. Back to orderless. I do R, that's overview, customization and back again. So that's L and R to go through your history. Capital L shows you everywhere you've been. So you can page through here and pick something out of your history. All right, the next one is to um, go through references. So the references can either be a menu item or a cross-reference. And you can tab to go forward and shift tab to go backwards through references. Let's go to D for directory, M. Let's go to orderless again. Uh, and if I, these are menu items, so it's going to tab through those. If I do tab here, it's going to tab through the menu items because that's a reference. And I can shift tab. It's going to go back through those things. Let's go control H, R to Emacs, T for top. 
this Emacs Lisp is a cross-reference right here. Uh, and so if I do tab, it's going to go to that cross-reference. And then it's going to hit the menu. If I do shift tab, it goes back to that cross-reference. Let's do a... Uh, all right, here's a good page, introduction. If I do a tab, it's going to go cross-reference, cross-reference, cross-reference. Shift tab goes backwards. Q to quit. All right, so that's this one. We're moving forward and backwards through the references on the page, whether it's a menu item or a cross-reference. If you're in a manual and you want to go to the first node or the last node, it's angle bracket. So here we are in the Emacs editor, shift this is the last node in the Emacs manual, uh, left angle bracket at the beginning. So we're toggling there between the beginning and the end. I'm going to do a D to get to the directory. M, let's go to the company manual. And that's the beginning of the company manual. Angle bracket to go to the end, left angle bracket to go to the beginning. Q to quit. OK, the next one is. G to go to a node. In other words, you can call out the node by name. Let's try this. You can use completion to see all nodes in the manual. Um, let's do control H I. Let's go to the D, I type D for directory. Let's go to embark. And if we type a G here, we can go to a node. We can we can scroll, scroll through these nodes. Let's go up here. I'm going to forward use the right square bracket overview acting on target. So one thing to be aware of here is that the this name, this title is not the name of the node. The name of the node is up here. It's also down, uh, probably down at the bottom there. This manual has the title and the node name are the same, but that's not always the case. Let's look at the Emacs manual. So that title is distribution, but the node name is distrib. So if we do a G here and we do distrib, you'll see the distribution is not there. So distrib works, which would take us here, but distribution is not the name of the node. So when you're using G, you got to enter the node name, not this title, which is not always the same. M is go to menu item. We already looked at that. F is go to a cross-reference. Um, again, Control H R Emacs F. There's one cross-reference on this page, and it'll take you to that cross-reference. So M and F are similar. M to a menu item, F to a cross-reference. T to the top of the manual. Um, if you're somewhere in the manual and you want to get back to the top of the manual, you just type T. So that's navigation. Next is search, and this is the area that info is not really great. It's not Google. Um, there is some search capability, but um, it's not wonderful. Um, the first one is that these manuals often have an index, and you can search the index. And so you're searching the keywords that are in the index. It's not a uh, like a full text search, but you're, whatever's, whatever the terms are in the index, you can search those. So you can use lowercase i to search the index and then if you've found more than one you can use the comma to go to subsequent ones so if we go to the emacs manual and we type i and diared you see down at the bottom there are 278 matches this is the first one if i type a comma that's the second one third one fourth one okay so then you know, we would have to uh, go through those one by one, 278 of them. All right, the other thing you can do is to type a capital I. Let's do that again. Control H R, capital I, diarid. This gives you a page that has all 278 diarid references from the index on one page. And you can, this is a menu here, so you can use M to pick items off that menu. You can page down and um, hit return on one, it'll take you to that. And you can type L here to go back to that 
uh, virtual index. So this is capital I. This is a, this is pretty nice. It gives you the, you know, if, if you know that you're looking for diuret, it gives you all of the uh, things that diuret in the index points to in the document. That's capital I. S is a regular expression search. And if you find, if you want to find the next one, it's S and return to search again. You can also use something like I search forward. That seems to work as well. Um, let's try this. Control H R. We're in the Emacs manual. Let's go to the top. I guess we're at the top. You can do S. Let's say we're looking for software. And it finds it there. You can do S again, but yeah, that's not enough. You have to hit return. So you have to hit S and return to incrementally go through the manual. Let's go to T to top. And if we want to do like um, I search forward, and we're going to look for software. You can go through it this way as well. I search forward. That's probably more natural. Q to quit. Uh, the last one. This is this is pretty helpful. This is info apropos, and this is a command type from anywhere. And let's put diary in here again. And what this does is searches across all manuals. You know, previously you had to be in a certain manual, so you had to know. I want to search in the Emacs manual, or I want to search in the ELISP manual. This guy searches across all manuals, the index of all manuals. I ran this before, that's why it was so quick, otherwise it takes a few seconds. But this first group, you see here that this is the, the it says Emacs here. This is the, these are the, the instances it found in the Emacs manual. And again, there are 278 of these because we're searching for Dyrid. But it's not just from the Emacs manual. There's stuff in here from the GNU's manual, Dyrid X, um, EPA. So there's other, it's looking in all manual, the indexes of all manuals and looking for Dyrid. So that's pretty handy. So that's searching. The last thing I wanted to mention is that these info manuals are just files on the disk. And so you might wonder where they are on the disk. These two variables contain a list of the directories that info searches to find info manuals. That first one, I think, is only effective before info starts, but once it starts, it's this variable that um, info uses. I have a shortcut here to that variable, and it shows the list of directories on my machine that it's searching to find manuals. So that uh, you can look in there and see if you're curious about where the info manuals are. All right, that's everything I wanted to cover. Again, there's a wealth of information in the info manuals. Hopefully this helps you access it and navigate and search through it. Um, and I hope it's helpful.